Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the City Council's Committee on Health, where today we'll be voting on a monumental package of bills designed to help end the scourge of lead poisoning in New York City. Um, I will say a few words about the bills in a moment, but I do first want to get the vote roll call going in case one of our colleagues needs to leave. And we have been joined by Councilmember Keith Powers and Councilmember Dr. Matthew Eugene. And I will ask Billy Martin to please call the vote. The, the, the vote. Roll call vote, Committee on Health. All items are coupled. Chair Levine. Vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Powers. I vote aye. I vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted. And we have just voted on a package of seven very important bills that are all designed to help the city live up to its promise of once and for all ending lead poisoning. We promised in 2004 that we would eliminate lead poisoning by 2010. And nine years later, we have 4,000 new cases a year. And so these seven bills will help finally correct that historic wrong. Intro 865, sponsored by Speaker Johnson, um, very important, will lower the blood level that triggers a lead poisoning investigation from 10 to 5 micrograms. Um, it will also lo lower the threshold at which paint is deemed to have a dangerous level of lead and will lower the thresholds for deeming dust to be dangerously contaminated as well. Um, Intro 871 by Con Councilmember Borelli um, will require that testing of water fountains for lead be done at the first draw as opposed to waiting for the water to run. Intro 877 by Councilmember Cornegy will require that all city agencies that deal with children would provide parents and guardians with info on how to get their kids tested for lead. A companion bill, Intro 1117, sponsored by Councilmember Con will require those agencies to provide pamphlets to parents and guardians about landlords' obligations to comply with lead laws um, and how families can get free drinking water testing kits if they are nervous. Intro 881, sponsored by Councilmember Drum, will require outreach um, to the public about the hazards of lead. <coughs> Intro 918 by Councilmember Torres will require that <coughs> The health department report on violations of uh, lead laws, including audits of annual inspections by landlords. And finally, intro 920, sponsored by Councilmember Traeger, will expand the requirements of child serving facilities to be tested for lead to include all facilities where children of under age six are present, including preschools, nursery schools, and others. That is our very important package. Um, we're gonna hold the vote open as we're expecting um, at least one more member to arrive. And I wanna thank all my colleagues for being here for this important hearing. Thank you. Thank you.